Hello adventures and welcome to this episode. Today we are going to talk about uh, some words that are usually overused in English and I am going to suggest some substitutes. Let's get started. Number one, very. Very is an extremely overused word. So instead of saying very, I would like you to say immensely or incredibly or exceptionally if it's positive and if it's negative, extremely and exceedingly. Number two, people. People is often also overused. Instead of people, I would, I would like you to say individuals, citizens, and populous. Number three, nice. Instead of saying nice, try to say pleasant, agreeable, charming, and delightful. Next is small. Instead of saying small, you can say compact, tiny, and minuscule. Next is interesting. Instead of interesting, say fascinating, captivating, intriguing, and compelling. Next is say or said in the past. Instead of said, try to use stated, declared, uttered, and mentioned. Next is beautiful. Instead of beautiful, say gorgeous, exquisite, breathtaking, and stunning. Next is happy. Instead of saying happy, try to say ecstatic, say content, say joyful. Next is easy. Easy. Instead of easy, try to say simple, effortless, uncomplicated, or straightforward. Instead of difficult, try to say challenging, complex arduous and demanding. Next is funny. Instead of funny, try to say hilarious, comical, amusing and entertaining. The next one is important. Instead of important, say significant, crucial, vital and paramount. Instead of saying talk about, say discuss, analyze, examine, explore, and delve into. Instead of saying show, say demonstrate, reveal, illustrate, and establish. Instead of saying use, say utilize, employ, apply, and make use of. Instead of try, say attempt, make a point to. And instead of different, say diverse, varied, distinct. And instead of reason, say justification, rationale, motive, and basis. Now, time to exercise. I am going to tell you a sentence and I would like you to use one of the words that I taught you today to substitute the basic word in there. Let's get into it. Change the sentence. The movie was very entertaining. What can you put instead of very in this sentence? Number two, instead of saying many people attended the concert, what can you say? At any point, if you feel like you need to go back and review the words, please do so. We are just gonna go through the exercises today. Instead of saying, he's such a nice person, what can you say? Instead of saying, they live in a small house, what can you say? Instead of saying, this book or this video is interesting, what can you say? How can you substitute said in this sentence? He said he would come. Instead of saying, she gave a nice presentation, what can you say? 
Instead of saying the sunset is beautiful, what can you say? Instead of saying I was happy to get the news, what can you say? Instead of saying this task is super easy, what can you say? Instead of saying the English exams are always so difficult, what can you say? Instead of saying the meeting is important for my future, what can you say? And instead of saying mm, this comedy, this rom com is funny, what can you say? A couple of more left. This discovery is important for advancing research. What can you say instead of important? What about this one? In this video, we are going to discuss uh, these important words. What can you say instead of this discuss? It's not discuss, it's discuss. What about this one? In writings, we usually say the data shows a clear correlation between these variables. What can I say instead of show? And instead of utilize, instead of saying use, it is essential to use appropriate resources when studying English. What can you use? Excellent. And instead of I try to exercise every day, what can you use? And last, if you want to say the reason for this policy change is to improve efficiency, what can you say instead of reason? That is all I had for you today, adventures. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share it with your friends who are trying to learn English. And remember, it's always easier to learn with friends. I'll see you soon. Bye.